You know, is that I know there's been a lot of questions about Triple G in the you know impending third rematch. If you guys, if you do beat Bivol, was that part of the process in saying I do want to fight this, uh, fight him one more time, and that, that you felt like there was still something unfinished about that part of your legacy? Oh, I don't think so. But uh, I'm hundred percent focused on Bivol. But uh, I don't care about the fight with uh, Golovkin. So I'm hundred percent focused in in the Bivol fight, and then we'll see. But uh, the people want to see that fight, right? The, that fight will be for the people. But that being said, I mean, what, what does beating Bivol do for your legacy? And, and, and you would you kind of finish it? Would that be it for you at 175? Or would you want to go back down? Because it's it, what what is the best thing for you right now to enhance the legacy that you want? Oh, this fight is important for my legacy. Uh, Dimitri Bivol is a solid champion in 175. Uh, go up and, and have the, the opportunity and all that, or I have the idea in my mind to be on the spirit champion in 175. Why not, right? And this is the first step. Last question for me. Appreciate you taking the time to do this. You know, you've been pretty keen. You just said it, you know, this is a fight that people want with you and Triple G a third time. It seems like uh, Errol, Errol Spence and Bud Crawford, it seems like they might be inching finally towards fighting each other. Do you feel like there is an importance for boxers to give fans the fight they want, not just for you personally, but for the overall health of the sport? Is that something you think about as well? Yeah, I always try to, to win the fights that people want to see. So, but that's important, yes. That's why you're here in boxing, right? Because the people, for the people, fight for the people, fight for you. And when the people want to see one fight, it's important.